The Wakefield Express, 15th of March, 2007. Paul Sykes, 60, British heavyweight contender, dies. Yorkshire boxer Paul Sykes has died in hospital. The 60-year-old former British and Commonwealth title heavyweight contender died at Pinderfield's Hospital, Wakefield, last Wednesday from pneumonia and liver cirrhosis. He had become a heavy drinker. His professional boxing career peaked in June 1979 when he narrowly lost to John L. Gardner in the British and Commonwealth heavyweight title fight at Wembley. After his last professional bout, a defeat in Gonzola Equilum in Lagos, Nigeria in March 1980, saw Sykes' life descended into a downward spiral of alcohol abuse, petty robberies, violent crime and prison. Before 1990, he had spent 21 years out of the last 26 in 18 UK jails. Former professional Keith Tate, 63, boxed with Sykes as a teenager at the Robin Hood and Thorpe Amateur Boxing Club near Wakefield. Mr Tate, who runs Cleck Heaton Boxing Academy, said, I'm sorry to hear that he's passed away. The Paul I knew was a very funny man and had a lot of talent which was wasted in the end. He could box and knew how to move for such a big fella. But even at a young age, he was drinking. I remember a trip to Germany when he was 16. He was carried out of the bar the night before he boxed a senior German heavyweight he lost. Sykes' 10 fight pro career ended with a record of six wins, four by knockout, three defeats and one draw. In his heyday, the six foot three fighter two of the US with boxing promoter Don King. Whilst behind bars, he earned an open university degree in physical sciences and wrote a book, Sweet Agony, which was awarded the Arthur Kersler Award for prison literature. Sykes' death certificate states his occupation as an author, retired, and an address as Peterson Road, Wakefield. In 2000, Wakefield Council secured a two-year ASBO banning him from the city centre after a string of aggressive drunken incidents, including shouting abuse and urinating in public. The YEP understands Home Office officials and considering a request for his son, Paul Sykes Jr., 33, a convicted killer, to be allowed out of prison to attend his funeral. Sykes Jr. was jailed for life in November 2004 after stabbing 50-year-old Michael Gallagher to de death at his home in Lubsett, Wakefield.